Howdy folks. Oh, look where I am. I'm carefully beached. I'm not completely beached, but I'm bumping into these weeds here because I mean, I want to fish this spot here. Seems to be a bluegill bed or something. I got quite a few bluegill already. But uh, I mean, my trolling motor is spooking all the fish. I found several bluegill beds already and the wind will blow me right on top of the bed and the trolling motor will spin and I just spook the whole bed. Several times already. I'm between some islands here and the wind is just spinning different direction every, I don't know, every two minutes or so. And I want to record a quick video about my fishing impressions uh, from the new Carabas. And I don't, I, I don't want the trolling motor and the wind to spook all the fish from me. Let me show you what I'm casting. This is a brown color. It is jig has seen a few fish already, but and when I say a few, maybe 30. But he'll catch a few more. I'm too lazy to tie a new jig now. But uh, okay, let's cast and catch a few fish while we're talking. Because my reviews are a little bit long and a little bit boring, let's be honest. People appreciate them, but they're kind of long and boring. And I'm trying to do something else while I'm talking, so they're not that boring. And it's hard to cast with the wind blowing in the bank. It's not where I wanted to cast, but we'll do it again. So let's uh, try to keep this video under, at least the review under 15 minutes. And then maybe a, a catch for a little longer. I fish for a little longer after I'm done, uh, but uh, keep the review portion of it kind of short. I don't know if there is still fish here though. I want to get one bite before I start talking. Because if, the, if there's no fish here, I don't want to make the review here. That was a bite, but why no fish? I mean, that's the smallest lure in the world. If you can't eat that, what kind of fish are you? Have some pride. Mm. Okay. Okay, this fish here, I got it to, to buy it. So let's start talking about it. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the sensitivity, the action. Then I'm going to talk about playing the fish. And, you know, the importance of advantages and disadvantages of solid tip. So sensitivity, the, look, look at this tip. I mean, with two words, the sensitivity is simply incredible. I did not expect this rod. I mean, look. Look at the fun you are having with a little bluegill. And I gotta tell you, every bite from this bluegill is like a vicious hit. It's not like a subtle vibration, vibration. Just like a ton, 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 ton. I did not expect this rod to be as sensitive because it has a solid tip and a cork handle. And solid tip has advantages and disadvantages. I don't wanna go into too much detail in this particular video, but as far as sensitivity is concerned, it's not as good as tubular because the solid tip flexes on the heat and absorbs some of the vibration, right? So some people call it sensitive because it detects the bite by, you know, bending and you can actually visually detect it instead of with your hand. But as far as vibrations, you know, solid tips are not as good as tubular. And then the cork handles, well, they're not as good as carbon handles. I love this cork handle. I love holding this in my hand all day. 
uh, but they're not as good, at least on, on paper, as carbon handles. But this rod, I'm here to tell you, has absolutely phenomenal sensitivity. I don't know if it's as sensitive as the carabus, uh, as the eradicator, because and that's another amazing rod. But, uh, and it, it's hard to compare because the feel of the two rods is so different. That one is very kind of artificial and exaggerated and very steely and carbony and just different feel. This one is a lot more organic, but uh, I don't know, I think you don't miss anything in terms of sensitivity if you swap the eradicator with the carabus. I'm gonna give a little break here because I have company. This, look at this wind, keeps pushing me, that's just no good for the trolling motor, I know, but I want to just stop in the bank, so I can talk, oh, bite, bite, bite. So, the sensitivity of this rod is, is amazing. I don't know, I don't want to get into these fights. This rod is more sensitive than the other. You buy this rod and you tell me you're not happy with the sensitivity. It's absolutely amazing. It's definitely more sensitive than the St. Croix Legend Elite Penfish. I'll, I'll say that. I'm not going to compare with the Eradicator, but it's definitely more sensitive than the St. Croix rod. Even though with the St. Croix rod and the same line, I'm already detecting every bite in the world. I'm not missing any bites, I promise you, with the St. Croix rod. A lot of people made derogatory comments that, ah, oh, this rod is American rod, that's not sensitive. Um, and the, the reason I'm saying this one is more sensitive is because the vibration is crisper. It's just more vibrant and it is more pleasant, just, it's just crisper vibration. But with the St. Croix already you will detect everything, not just with the St. Croix. If you get a, the right line, I believe you will detect every bite in the world with a $20 Shakespeare Micro Light. That's my uh, serious opinion. As long as you use like a 4 or 6 pound braid, I don't care what braid either, it can be cheap brand you will still detect every bite in the world. Oh. And so sensitivity amazing. The other thing that's amazing is playing the fish. I'm getting text message from the champion. I mean, playing the fish with this rod, it's a nice boy, oh, come on. Uh, Maybe my color is not as visible in this muddy water. I'm not getting the bites that I think I deserve. But uh, playing the fish with this a lot is just, I think this is the biggest, uh, it's not the sensitivity. It's very sensitive, but the biggest reason to buy this uh, rod is, is playing the fish. It's so much fun with, even with bluegill, this solid tip will just bend and just start bowing down at every thrust of the bluegill. I mean, it's, it's just incredible. Ugh. That was one, two, three nibbles and I still didn't catch it. What's the... 
deal with this bluegill. Maybe they're very small. I don't know, I'm casting on the same spot time after time. Here we go. Look at this. This is why you buy this. Look, this, this will be a tiny bluegill. Look from where the rod is bending. Look at this. I mean, this is a tiny bluegill, folks. And at the same time, you saw me catch several blue catfish, many channel catfish, many bass. You saw me catch four pound trout, three pound trout, many smaller trout. It still has about the first guide. You start to get some backbone so you can control um, the fish. I mean, look, it's still, look at, it's still very flexy, even all the way down here, but it is stiffer from the handle to the first guide. It is stiffer than the eradicator. And as a matter of fact, the one thing that I would change on this rod, if, if I were to redesign it, I love everything, the handle, the guides. I love the guides, the solid tip. Never have I been a fan of solid tips, but I love this particular solid tip. I mean, this solid tip is, I mean, sensitivity is off the charts because it's solid carbon. Um, plus, you can boat flip fish all the time. I always go on these tangent, tangents. So I have no issues with this solid tip. But if I were to redesign the rod, I would have the base, the first section here, just as thin as the eradicator. On the eradicator, the blank, the diameter is one millimeter less and it flexes a little bit more. But I would rather have it that way. Now, I believe in United States, most people will prefer this blank over the eradicator because this blank is, is very sharp. And as far as, you know, twitching goes, twitching a trout magnet, if you want to create the perfect kind of animations of the trout magnet this blank is definitely better than the eradicator for that you can still jig uh, you know a trout magnet with the eradicator but the eradicator has some wobble this one doesn't have wobble this one is is very sharp it's not the sharpest rod in the world but it's pretty sharp i don't think anybody will want anything sharper than this so for that reason, I believe that most people will prefer this rod, this blank over the eradicator just because there is no wobble and there is some kind of rigidity in the first half. It's still flexible, I showed you, but uh, it's not as soft as the eradicator and people do like, they call it backbone, People do like to have some rigidity in the first half so you can kind of control the fish around the trolling motor, you know, that kind of stuff. I don't care for control, controlling the fish at all. I just want, I don't even care for wobble. I'm ready to sacrifice everything just so I get a parabolic bend of the rod. But uh, yeah, I think most people will prefer this blank. And so overall, this rod is incredible at keeping fish on the line once you hook it up. I think it's better actually than the eradicator. I don't know, this tip just, every thrust, it goes It just absorbs everything. Those of you who like to use braided fishing line for, you know, ultralight fishing, man, he hit right here and I still didn't catch him. Why am I not catching any fish, folks? There's got to be fish on this bed in front of me. They cannot abandon the bed. You know how they work. Why am I not catching fish? Maybe I need a different color trout magnet. Where was I? I was somewhere. So the blank is really good for keeping fish on the line. It's not as good uh, for, uh, I mean, 10 bites, and I still didn't catch them. It's not as good for setting the hook. Uh, for ultra light fishing, you don't really need to set hooks. So, I don't know, you shouldn't be setting hooks with this rod. But if you do need to set hooks, 
uh, this solid tip is no good for setting hooks. Actually, it was designed for exact opposite, uh, you know, purpose to keep the fish on the line, not to, to set hooks. But uh, I do feel like uh, now look where I'm, where am I moving? Why are we going this way? I don't want to go this way. The wind changed again on me. I do feel I lost a few nice trout with this rod because I couldn't set the hook. And I have super sharp hooks, but so don't tell me to use different hook or do this or do that. I don't appreciate advice on... I know what to do with a fish once I feel the bite. Problem is the trout have kind of a bony mouth. So it's good to, to set the hook a little bit to get some penetration. And I feel I couldn't set the hook on a few nice trout and they just jumped and flipped in the air and, and I lost them. So for setting the hook, it's not going to be that good. For drop shotting, also not going to be that good because the tip will flex when you're twitching. Also with drop shotting, usually you have bigger weights. So not a drop shotting rod, not a setting hooks rod, but for trout magnet, oh, here we go. This one hit it good. I mean, I think the best application for this rod, because of this particular action... God damn, catfish! The best application is twitching a trout magnet. You can do also micro spoons, amazing for that, because you don't need to set hooks. Come here, you slimy thing. Uh, but twitching a trout magnet, this rod is... Like I said, it's easier to twitch a trout magnet than with the eradicator because there is no wobble. It's just sharper. And then if you fish for crappie, I mean, this is just the perfect rod to keep paper mouth crappie on the line. This jig needs to be replaced, but I don't want to cut and edit this video. This video will be uncut. Uh, Okay, what else? Playing the fish is really nice. Um, sensitivity is really nice. Also, bolt flipping is really nice. This, you know, people give this solid tip grief, but I gotta tell you, I'm, I always feel nervous bolt flipping a 10-inch crappie with the eradicator. Because, you know, 10-inch fish, it's not enough for the net, but you're really risking it, you know. Flipping with the flipping it with the eradicator because it is an incredibly thin tube. Uh, the tip is with this guy, you're not gonna break the tip off. I mean, the tip will flex. So I just have a lot more confidence, even though the two rods have the same power. I have a lot more confidence flipping fish with this guy, and you know you can fish kind of more free, not care to hit the tip somewhere in the wall or or something it's a little bit safer to use because you're not gonna snap the tip so easy and um, i don't know what else is left in, in terms of casting distance this rod does have bigger guides the, the first guide is a little bit further from the reel but it is a little bit shorter than the eradicator. And also the eradicator has tubular tip and more flexible. Overall, it has more parabolic action, slower action, if you want to call it. So even though this rod has bigger guides in terms of casting distance, I think the two rods are about the same. Uh, if you're just going to backhand lob though it is easier with this rod but once you put enough force to compress the blank and you are catapulting the lure with the blank then the eradicator has a really nice blank for that but you know like i'm fishing this bed here and i'm just kind of flipping flipping you're really not loading the blank to 
to fish this bed in front of me. For this purpose, I do prefer the, the guides of this. And uh, what else is left? I think that's it, folks. I'm sorry I didn't catch more fish. I mean, I got a million bites, but these fish here, they, they have to be like a two inch or something like that. Because, I mean, I'm getting a nibble on every cast and I was at another bed. I was catching fish after fish. But I didn't record the video there because it wasn't as nice a spot. What else? I mean, I got used to the colors. I kind of like it now. I mean, I'm, I've never been a Bergen defend, but, but this rod looks nice, man. And just holding it in the hand and fighting the fish. Fighting the fish, the feeling is a little bit... I think more pleasant than the eradicator, even though with the eradicator maybe you feel even more the hits and the pumps of the bluegill with the tail. Maybe with the eradicator you feel even more. But this one feels... here we go. What is this? Running like this. This one is more organic. With the cork handle and the, the chip. Look at this mambo jumbo. Huge male. Look at this. I like uh, the feeling in the hand while I'm fighting a little bit more uh, here with the carabus because it's more organic. Uh, it's just, I don't know what other word to use to des describe it. It's more organic. It's more what you're used to. Uh, now I lost everything here. Guys, do not keep keep a male bluegill, big male bluegill. Maybe females, but if you don't know, as far as blue, uh, bluegills go, the males are more important uh, than the females. Don't say that on Twitter, but they are because if you want big bluegill in your lake, big males are more important because they just prevent what is what is called stunting stunting of the bluegill population otherwise you get too many little males uh, you know spawning and they're not gonna grow if you have a big male it will take the best nest and the females will throw all of the eggs on the nest of the big male well, that, that's another tangent. I don't want to go there, but it's really important for the population of, you know, bluegills, if you want them to grow, to not keep big males. Uh, that's, that's very important. I don't know what else to tell you guys. I think I found a reel that I really like how this reel feels with the carabus. The carabus, by the way, because the butt is so short here it's not exactly perfectly balanced like a major craft i mean i like the way it's balanced i don't need to make this butt longer to balance the rod because then it's not so easy to backhand flip you know if you make it long then you cannot backhand flip so easy so i like it the way it is it is perfect but it's not perfectly balanced and because of that the rod will tolerate a little bit heavier reels so this reel is, this Kaudia is 170 grams, or forgot, maybe 175. But it feels very good with this rod. So you don't necessarily have to buy a, like a Shimano Vanquish or Daiwa Luvius or Vanford or something else that's 150 grams to put on this rod. Um, I mean, if, if, if you do, you'll be just fine. But uh, it will pair with 170 175 gram reel just fine i it kind of puts the center of weight in your hand and makes the tip light i really like the balance with with this reel i kind of like the match of the gold accents and for some reason while this reel scratches a lot has annoyingly poor build quality for a 200 dollar reel 
actually for some reason the drag is kind of a little bit more vibrant on the other LT reels. I don't know why, but you can hear this drag is this drag is better than the than the Vuvius. Okay, this will be the last fish of the video. Let's see what we got here. I did put two bearings here and I don't have bearings on the Vuvius because Vuvius is super light reel. I want I want to keep it light, but this one is already 170 grams. But I think because the spool is resting on bearings now, which are metal, it makes that that alone makes the drag more vibrant because the spool is resting on metal and that that helps with you have metal to metal that's a better vibration than metal on a plastic bushing because the plastic bushing will kill vibration that's a beautiful bass i mean he's small look at this guys i mean this is why we buy these rods look at this blank look at the fun you get catching a 10 inch bass <clears throat> I mean look it might be more than 10 it might be 11 do you want to know because this will be the last thing you know I'm done with the video if, if you have comments just leave them in the comment section I do reply to all reasonable comments i used to reply to all comments but some of you people is nuts so now i reply to all reasonable questions but well, this is a 13 inch okay this is upside down but this is a 13 inch bass maybe 12 and three quarters but if i press him and squeeze him i make him 13 but okay you can call it whatever you want but he is a beautiful chunk so i'm gonna let you go here Leave your questions in the comment section and I'm gonna get to them. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.